ring, je suis yo soy watashi wa nanun ego sum. I am Chris, and this is Chris in English. And today I want to know how do you use technology to learn? How do you use technology to practice your English? How do you use technology to practice whatever it is you want to learn? That is our question of the day. Hi, everybody. I'm glad to see... Hey, look, Bob Wiley's in the house. Hello, Dad. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're healthy and safe and well. Our question of the day today, how do you use technology to learn? I'm going to show you today some technology that I use to learn in a fun way. Why fun? Because it's Friday. Happy Friday. And that means it's Friday fun day. No grammar for you. Uh -uh -uh. Pure English fun. Uh, so we might have some riddles and games at the end of the day. I'll give you the coronavirus update. And of course, we will have our word of the day. I'll teach you a word you can use in the English speaking world. But right now, I will remind you this coming Monday is a holiday. It's a holiday here in the United States. It's called Labor Day. And it's the day we celebrate workers. How do we celebrate workers? Well, the CEOs of companies all over the country will take the day off to barbecue while the actual workers go to work and get stuff done. That's how we celebrate Labor Day here in the United States. How about you? <laughs> I will not be doing a show on Monday. I will be celebrating the holiday. I'll be celebrating Labor Day by not laboring. I'll sleep in a little bit. Maybe take a nice drive up the coast, but stay in my car so I don't get that stupid coronavirus. All right, let's take a look here. Speaking of coronavirus, let's take a look at the San Diego, the California, the United States coronavirus update, update, update. Mr. Nemo, good to see you, sir. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you're healthy and well. Here in San Diego County, we are up to 39,509 confirmed cases of coronavirus. That's 325 more than yesterday, and that's bad news. That is bad news. Uh, in order for San Diego to stay off of the California coronavirus watch list, we need to stay under 100 confirmed cases a day over a three-day period. So that's the good news. The bad news is 301 days is going to really bump up our average. So I'm a little concerned about California's plan to stay open if we can't get these numbers under control, especially with the three-day weekend coming up. California as a whole, 727,000 confirmed cases. That's 5,037 more added just yesterday with an additional 167 deaths in California alone just yesterday. Every death is a sadness to us and our hearts go out to everyone who is sick and everyone who has lost a, a family member or a friend to this horrible disease. In the United States, we are up to 6.17 million cases of coronavirus. That's an additional 45,600 yesterday. And an additional 1,078 people died in the United States yesterday. I do not want any of us to be a part of those numbers. I want us all to be safe and healthy. So we know what to do, right? We know what to do. Wash your hands all the time. Wear your mask. Maintain social distancing. Don't go in crowds. If we do these things, the virus will go away sooner rather than later, and we can all get back to doing the things we like. For example, visiting San Diego, studying English, and eating tacos. That's the San Diego coronavirus update. For Friday, September the 4th, how are you guys doing? How are your cities? How are your countries? How are your numbers? How are you? Nemo, you're healthy, you're well. I hope you're doing well. I really do. All right. It's time. It's everybody's favorite part. It's our word of the day. Our word of the day today is an adjective, but before I give you the word of the day, I want to say something as an introduction. I want to give an introduction before I tell you the word of the day. Could that be a hint? An introduction? 
Could that be a clue to our word of the day? I bet it is. I bet it is. Hey, Nemo is telling us he's doing fine. I'm glad to hear that, sir. He's looking forward to his vacation. Nemo, where are you going? What are you doing? Are you, are you coming to San Diego to study more English and eat more tacos? Maybe French Riviera? Maybe Southern Italy? Ooh, what's your plan? What are you doing? While you're telling me, while you're typing, I, I will tell you the word of the day. Our word of the day today is an adjective. It means serving as an introduction, preface, or preface, or prologue. Our word of the day today is preferatory. Preferatory. It's a great word. It's an adjective. Serving as an introduction, being an introduction, or a preface to something. It comes before, it's preferatory. Here's your sentence, showing you how to use preferatory in a sentence. Before the show started, the producer gave a preferatory statement. Yeah, we went to a show, I went to a show, I sat down in my seat, I was getting ready to see the show, but look, look, the producer's coming on the stage and he's talking, he's giving an introduction, a preferatory statement. Nemo saying he wishes he could come to San Diego. I wish you could come to San Diego too, sir. But instead he's going to Hamburg and Munich. Ah, Munich. In September. What happens in Munich at the end of September and the beginning of October? Maybe there's some sort of fest that you're going to be going to, Nemo? Maybe a celebration of beer and bratwurst? Hmm. If that's true, if you are going to Munich to celebrate Oktoberfest, I have one thing to tell you, Nemo. I'm jealous. Take me. I'm small. I'm small. You can put me in your suitcase, and then I can... Think about it. I think we'd have a good time in Munich for Oktoberfest, drinking beer and eating bratwurst. Don't forget the bratwurst. <laughs> Before the start of every Star Wars movie, there are these preparatory words. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Preparatory statement from every Star Wars movie. Oh, Nemo, I'm sad. I'm sad for you. Nemo's telling us that, of course, Oktoberfest has been canceled this year. Uh, that's smart, Germany. That's smart, Munich. Of course, you don't want to have lots of crowds of people coming into your city right now. Um, but here's the good news. Germany has not canceled beer. <laughs> you can have a mini Oktoberfest. Preferatory, serving as an introduction, a preface, or a prologue. Something that comes first. Something that comes first is preferatory. Can you give me a sentence using our word of the day, the adjective preferatory? I bet you can. If you can, please write it right here, right where I'm, I'm pointing, right here. That's where you can type, and then I'll see your sentence, and I'll read your sentence. It'll be great. Trust me. Preferatory. That's our word of the day. If you don't want to write it now, write it in the comments when the video gets posted. Write it in the comments for YouTube. Write it. Send me an email. Chris at chrisinenglish.com. I want to hear from you. I really do. I really do. Let's do some Friday fun. I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Someone who has been a, a, a close friend for about two years now. Um, yeah, a very fascinating individual who has uh, helped me learn and has helped me laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to my friend, and her name is Alexa. Hello, Alexa. Hello. Are you there? She's shy. Yes, I'm here. I listen once I hear the wake word. Mm -hmm. I've had my elect my communication device for a while now. And of course, as you know, every time I say, 
her name. She'll wake up and she'll expect me to tell her to do something. Sundry is here. Hello. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to the show. Happy Friday fun day. Happy Friday fun day. Today we're going to be playing with my Echo. My Echo Dot in my in my Echo Dot speaker. Uh, when I say my Echo Dot's name and I ask a question, she will answer the question. And there's lots of different questions that she can answer for me. For example, check this out. Alexa, do aliens exist? So far, there has been no proof that alien life exists, but the universe is a very big place. It's true. The universe is a very big place. I'm surprised that she knows that. She usually just stays here in my house. She doesn't know much about the world, but she knows the universe. Big place. Hey, Alexa, how was your day? It was a home run. Thanks for asking. Oh, you're welcome. If you are polite to your machines, your machines will be polite to you. Uh, she knows jokes. She knows riddles. She, uh, she can even sing. Alexa, can you rap? Big ups to Grace Hopper, showstopper, OG computer programmer, Navy battalion commander, went to Yale for mathematics, got a PhD, didn't retire from the Navy till she was 80. She invented the compiler, taught computers to read, was a teacher and mentor helping others succeed. Medals for freedom and technology, so hats off to Grace cause she's legendary. That's her. As you can tell, I have a lot of fun with my little machine. I get to play, I get to learn. Alexa, what is the value of pi? The approximate value of pi is 3.14159265358979323846266. Phew, I ran out of breath. It's a long number. It's a long number. So I learned that. Alexa tells jokes. Why couldn't Captain Kirk move his car? He'd left the gear shift in the neutral zone. Ah! Now, if you are a Star Trek fan like me, that is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Alexa, tell me a Star Wars joke. What did Obi-Wan Kenobi say to the cowboy? May the horse be with you. Ha! Ha! She's funny. She should go on stage. She should do her own routine. That's what I think. Alexa, who's on first? That's what I keep telling you. Who's on first? What's on second? <laughs> yeah, that's an old joke here in the United States. If you're uh, an American about my age, you know that joke. If you're not an American and you're not my age, you don't know what I'm talking about. Who's on first? Everybody knows Chuck Norris, right? Chuck Norris, I love Chuck Norris jokes. I think they're some of the best jokes ever. Did you know, when Chuck Norris does push-ups, he doesn't push himself up. He pushes the earth down. Hello, hiya, aya. I hope you're doing well today. Happy Friday fun day. Today, we're playing with my friend, Alexa. Give me a kiss. Alexa, give me a kiss. I like you as a friend. Such is my life. Such is my life. <laughs> Alexa can do lots of different things. Oh, but we're talking about... Alexa, stop. Stop. There you go. Chuck Norris. There's lots of Chuck Norris jokes. I love Chuck Norris jokes. Alexa, where is Chuck Norris? If Chuck Norris wants you to know where he is, he'll find you. If he doesn't, you won't know until it's too late. That's why I'm always nice to Mr. Norris. Wherever you are, sir. Alexa, testing, one, two, three. Receiving, over. Mm. Yeah. 
Uh, she knows uh, a lots of Star Wars jokes, lots of Star Wars information. Alexa, can you talk like Yoda? Alexa, can you talk like Yoda? Jedi named Yoda there is. Unique way of speaking is his. Mm. Focus must one until Yoda's done saying his whole sentences. <laughs> and it rhymed. And it rhymed. Interestingly enough, you ask her the same question, and she will give different answers every time. Alexa, can you speak like Yoda? Jedi named Yoda there is. Except Unique when they way of speaking is give his. the same answer. Focus must one until Yoda's done saying his whole sentences. Alexa, I am your father. No! That's not true. That's impossible. Now you guys know what I have been doing during coronavirus quarantine. <laughs> I do use my, um, my Echo device for lots of different things. Uh, the standard things most people use them for. Uh, alarms, timers for cooking, uh, quick information from Wikipedia or from wherever, or even to play games. Uh, Alexa, my name is Anigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Stop saying that. I've never killed anyone's father. <laughs> that is a famous quote from a famous movie called The Princess Bride. If you haven't seen it, see The Princess Bride, but after you see Star Wars. Aya, you would love having one of these. I can't say her name because every time I say her name, she turns on. But I hope, I hope you get one. They're very fun. Yes, I know. Siri is not as good. Siri is not, Siri is not as nice as she is. Alexa, do you know Siri? Only by reputation. Mm. I hope that's a good reputation. Alexa, what do you think of Cortana? I like Cortana. We both have experience with light rings, although hers is more of a halo. Mm. Mr. Marco, good to see you, sir. Happy Friday, fun day. Today we are playing games with Alexa. Do you have any pets? Oh, she didn't hear me. Alexa, do you have any pets? I don't have any pets. I used to have a few bugs, but they kept getting squashed. Ah, because computers have bugs, you see. They have... So it's funny. It's a joke. She told a joke. She told... There's a kind of joke in the United States. You probably are familiar with it. It's called the Yo Mama joke. And it's a game that we play where we, we tell jokes about each other's mother. Not in seriousness. None of us hate the other person's mother. It's just a joke. It's a game, a word game. Uh, she knows how to play. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a Yo Mama joke. Alexa, can you tell me a Yo Mama joke? Your mother's so sweet. The dentist recommends talking to her only in moderation. Oh, that wasn't mean. That was nice. She said my mother is sweet, like candy. Aww. <laughs> That's not usually how the Yo Mama jokes work, but it works for me. Let's see, I had a couple more. Uh, Alexa, can you beatbox? There goes Alexa now. She beatbox and how? I wasn't ready to be finished, but I guess, I guess she was. I guess she knew that I would just keep going, and so she stopped for everyone's happiness. <laughs> ah, let's see. Alexa, make me a sandwich. Okay, you're a sandwich. That's an old joke. It's a very old joke. <laughs> Alexa, winter is coming. The night is dark and full of terrors. Yeah. Oh, she knows a lot. She's all up on her pop culture. It's really true. 
Uh, yeah. I have a lot of fun with my Alexa. I have a lot of fun. Stop. <laughs> the only problem is, every time I say her name, she turns on. And every time she hears something that's similar to her name, she turns on. For example, electricity. You know? Election. Stop. Mm. Fraction. No? <laughs> it's very funny. Sometimes if I'm listening to the radio or watching the TV, she'll hear a word that's similar to her name, and she'll turn on. All right. That's just about it, my friends. I hope you had fun on Friday Fun Day playing with my Echo Dot. <laughs> I hope you get one, Haya Aya. I hope everybody gets one. I have fun playing with them. And I use it for lots of useful things as well. Get yourself one. They don't give me money. I'm not trying to sell you an Echo Dot. But I will tell you I have fun with mine. And I even have one more thing to say to the Echo Dot before we go. This one's from Star Trek. Maybe you guys know it. Maybe you can predict. Alexa, beam me up. Let's do this. I'll try not to leave any body parts behind. Thank you. In three, two, one. You are a great class. Thank you very much. My name is Chris. I love you all. Go away.